final battle is going to be Cloud9. TSM has always been our toughest opponent, and now we actually have to play them for the finals. Today's the day, either we go big or we go home. It's all on the line for us today. It's gonna be like an all out brawl. Balls in the back line, finding everybody. Three kills for C9, make that four. It's only Quas alive, a quadra kill for Balls. Fans can expect there to be a bloodbath. I would probably have a lot of blood, a lot of tears. It's gonna be a chaotic match. This is turning messy. Bjergsen's got a double kill. Link forced away. That's a triple kill for Bjergsen. Oh. That's a quadra kill for Bjergsen. He's looking for the Penta. Can he get it? That's the question. Bjergsen, Link, one more hit. That's a Penta kill! It's just all in us to play our best game. North American League Championship Series Spring Playoffs. We're coming to you live in front of this amazing audience in our studios here in Los Angeles, California. What's up, guys? I'm David Freak Turley alongside Joshua Jat Leesman and Brandon St. Vicious DeMarco. Guys, we're in for an incredible set of games today. Let's take a quick look at where things stand in the North American bracket. TSM pulled out the win against the third seed Counter Logic Gaming and advanced to the finals. Dales off against the number one seed Cloud9, who secured their spot after defeating Curse in a 2 0 sweep. That means CLG will face off in a best of three against Curse to see who will take third. And rounding out the bracket, Dignitas took fifth place yesterday after beating Team Coast in a hard fought 2 1 series. Coast now holds sixth, which means they'll play in next week's summer promotion tournament to re-qualify for the North American LCS. So now we have to take a look at some of the huge moments that had you guys tweeting at hashtag LCS Big Plays. Our first one comes from Dallas Ayers. Cutie Pie on the brilliant backstep for the culling to secure the triple kill. Next is Balls going in for a four-man tear. Uh, at Bloodman92 says, Balls with the Jax 1v4 quadra kill for the Dream win and Dream finals. But if four kills is good, then five is even better. At Walter Dietzler says, Any penna kill in the LCS deserves an LCS big play, but Bjergsen doing that as karma while playing for the comeback is why it is number one. All right, guys, roll the big plays. Cutie Pie! See, Cutie Pie's got one. Cutie Pie's life steal is immense. Nintendo needs to repel. That's a Kelly. He gets it onto Shifter. Dashes backwards. That's a triple. Cutie Pie goes huge for Dignitas. TP comes in. Quas the front lines dominate. Big knockback comes through and they find the kill on the cop. Though this could be the fight. Balls in the back line finding everybody. Three kills for C9. Make that four. It's only Quas alive versus five in Cloud9. Take down. It's a great play! Expecial flashes forward. The culling gets thrown down and Dexter eats most of the hits. He's the first victim and CLG is near. Has respawned. He's back in the fight. He's taken Mundo down. This is turning messy. Bjergsen has got a double kill. Link forced away. That's a triple kill for Bjergsen. That's a quadra kill for Bjergsen. He's looking for the Penta. Can he get it? That's the question. Bjergsen, Link, one more hit. That's a Penta kill! Yeah, what an incredible fight right there. Yeah, it's crazy when those support champions get a little bit of AP. I think he took like 70% of somebody's health with just one Q. This is ridiculous. Yeah, he had a little bit of farm after that really slow game. He never died in that hole. And the big thing is he got to the back line, so it worked. Yeah, if yep. I was going to do it, why not the MVP Bjergsen? Of course, a great performance there. So, guys, remember to hop on Twitter and share your favorite plays of the day by tweeting at Elevel Esports and using the hashtag LCSBigPlays. Now, the title of best team in North America and the trip to the All-Star Invitational is on the line here. So TSM versus Cloud9. I want to start with you guys right, and talk about this because TSM are 1-10 against yep. C9 in LCS play, regular season playoffs combined there. What's TSM going to have to do to actually pull a win here? Well, that's a pretty ugly record to look at, but I think if TSM can just get Dyrus or Bjergsen rolling like they did yesterday where they had that real strong solo lane presence um, and they can just lane it straight up, and they don't really go into these big 2v1 setups and where they just fast push and rotate around the lanes, then I think TSM definitely has a shot. 
Yeah, as long as they can manipulate the traditional laning phase that they got in Game 3 against CLG the majority of the time, that's going to be where their victories are found, just because their solo lane strength is so huge. I actually want to press you on that then, because we talk about TSM wanting the conventional 1-1-2 sort of mm -hmm. lane setup, but Dyrus is saying, well, you know, Balls is the better top laner than me. Like, why would TSM want these disadvantageous lane matchups? I mean, I think that's true, but I still think it's more of a disadvantage for TSM to play the style they did in game one against CLG, where they're doing the 4v1 push in one lane, not letting Bjergsen roam around to the other lanes and try and make plays. I still think that's their best play. And Dyrus and Balls are still pretty close as far as top lane skill goes. Yeah, I don't think that the the skill matches up that badly, where it's like, oh, I just I just can't go against this guy. He's so much better than me. Um, and also, once the jungler gets involved, it's it's going to be pretty close. Okay, so then we'll see how the matches play out throughout the games. We're going to send it over now to Quickshot and Kobe at the caster's desk. Thank you very much, Freak. I am Trevor Quickshot. Here to me. Joining me is Sam Kobe Hotman Kenzler. How you doing, Kobe? Great, Trevor. Good afternoon. Yeah, good Glad afternoon. Glad to have you here. It's good to be here. Well, this weekend we have had another piece of our Spring Split puzzle filled. We have the matchups for our Summer Promotion Tournament. Next week could radically shake up the face of North America's LCS as six teams fight for a place in the big leagues. I think there's a very real chance that we have three new LCS teams by the end of the promotion tournament. I really feel like the Challenger teams are stronger than they've ever been. Team Coast, Evil Geniuses and XDG have all been shaky at best in the spring split. And now with their jobs and their careers on the line, can they deliver against the likes of LMQ and Complexity Black? For the teams that are coming up, this is the dream. This is what they've been playing for. Next week, the rewards are great for all these teams. You get a spot in the LCS, guaranteed job for one split, and a shot at even going to Worlds. If we look back to last year, Cloud9 qualified at the same time, and they ended up being the best team in North America. I think Coast are going to be able to collect themselves and, and play properly. Zion's part and Shifter will keep showing up big, and they'll win because of that. In order for EG to be successful next week, they need to draw on their past experience and play like the clutch team that they really are. The current LCS team that's in the most trouble is probably XDG. This is a team that went to the World Finals last year and suddenly are just trying to find themselves. I definitely do think there are going to be shakeups in the LCS this split. I think you're going to see the new face of the LCS. You're going to see incredibly skilled players and explosive teams. That is going to be a difficult series of games. Three LCS teams that Honestly, I'm not 100% convinced all three will make it back into the LCS for the summer split. Yeah, people have been talking about the stress just in this tournament right now, the playoffs, but the promotion tournament, that's where it's extremely stressful because these guys will be kicked out. Well, we'll have to see how it pans out. The action gets underway on Saturday, April 26th with a best of five between Team Coast and Complexity Black. Then on Sunday, April 27th, Evil Geniuses take on Cloud9 Tempest, followed by XDG Gaming swearing off against the Challenger Series champs, LMQ. Yeah, our tickets are still available, but space is limited, so don't miss your chance to cheer on your favorite team. Head over to lolesports.com and reserve your seat. Just click the tickets link for all the details, and while you're there, vote for who you think will win today's matchup. Click on the schedule and make your predictions. You can also read up about all the upcoming all-Stars Paris event details, as well as study up on the players and teams that will be attending from China, Europe, Korea, and Southeast Asia. Yeah, and you can review the videos on demand that have made the spring split so incredibly amazing. Now we want to pick your brain, hop onto Twitter, because today we're asking you, who is your North American LCS Spring Playoff MVP and why? Yeah, be sure to write us at LO Esports and use that hashtag LCS so that we can highlight a few of your answers later in the show. We do have to take a very quick break, but when we come back, we'll be kicking off the day with our first matchup, Council Logic Gaming versus Team Curse in a best of three showdown for third place.